I'm here tonight to talk about the Village's awards and recognitions over the past year. And I have to say, Downers Grove's really, really lucky. We have a very dedicated team of employees who through their efforts have enhanced the Village's position as a leader. The Village of Downers Grove is recognized as a leader among other municipalities locally, regionally, and at a national level. Throughout the year, our team is focused on accomplishing and achieving goals, both on projects they are tasked with, as well as through their own development, attaining various professional achievements. Let me just click a little bit here. Several of, of, several of our projects and personnel have received awards <clears throat> and recognition. Many staff members have been invited to present at conferences, which is a compliment to their expertise in and of itself and or to the recognition of for their innovation. I didn't want the year to go by without recognizing some of the many accomplish, accomplishments of our village team. Let's see. It's not moving here. There we go. The naturalized basin and stormwater improvements made at 2nd Street and Cumnor Road earned the village the 2012 Outstanding Civil Engineering Achievement Award by the American Society of Civ Civil Engineers. This environmentally sustainable detention facility not only alleviated flooding in the area, and increased the pub but it also increased the public's awareness of prairie plant life through informational signage and the QR quick read code. Additionally, as Nan just mentioned, we just learned today that the project was selected by the APWA suburban branch as the environmental project of the year on, in projects under five million and will be considered for the chapter award. That's really something, I think. The Illinois chapter of the American Planning Association selected the Village of Downers Grove Comprehensive Plan as a recipient of their Daniel Burnham Award for excellence. The plan illustrates a vision for a physical, the physical character of the village over the next 15 to 20 years. It's a guide on issues including economic development, infrastructure, recreation, public safety, as well as land use policies. Get the, next one up there. the village also received the Distinguished Budget Presentation Award from the Government Finance Officers Association, GFOA, for the 2012 budget document. This is the third consecutive year that the village has been honored with this achievement. And it's, it's the only national award program um, in governmental budgeting. And additionally, the village received the Certificate of Achievement for Excellence in Financial Reporting for its 2011 Comprehensive Annual Financial Reports. This is the highest form of recognition in the area of a government accounting and financial reporting, and it represents a significant accomplishment by the government and its management. Downers Grove was also named one of the region's top transit communities by DePaul University's Chaddock Institute for Metropolitan Development. This institute advances the principles of effective land use, transportation, and community planning. Numerous measurable factors were considered, including the station building, the platforms, parking, walkable downtown amenities close to the station, and the degree of community connectivity to public transportation. We were also named one of the top energy saving communities, actually we were 26th, by the Citizens U Utility Board, which is a nonprofit organization that represents the interests of residential utility customers across Illinois. Energy, energy Saver is a free utility bill cutting program that helps consumers reduce their carbon footprint and save money on their energy bills. The National Fire Protection Association selected our very own Marsha Giesler as the 2012 Fire and Life Safety Educator of the Year. This award recognizes her demonstrated excellence in the use of educational programs. Also, the Illinois Fire Safety Alliance selected Marsha for the Wayne Lute Memorial Award for her work locally in our jurisdiction and throughout the state sharing program ideas and teaching methods. I didn't come in. Downers Grove officer Nicholas Linkletter received the Illinois Mothers Against Drunk Driving Heroes Award for 2012. 
This award is presented to police officers who have demonstrated a commitment to removing intoxicated drivers from the roadway, support MAD's mission to eliminate drunk driving, provide victims for, victim support for those affected by drunk drivers, and show initiative to prevent underage drinking. The Lincoln Institute of Land Policy located in Boston is a leading resource for key issues concerning the use, regulation, and taxation of land. Community Development Director Tom Daberiner was one of a dozen of a dozen planning directors invited to participate in a three-day discussion that will integrate theory, practice, education, and research, and provide a nonpartisan forum for multidisciplinary perspectives on public policy concerning land, both in the U.S and internationally. I mentioned earlier that staff also presented at many conferences as well as being published and I wanted just to mention a few of those. If I can get this to switch. Okay. Village manager Dave Fieldman presented at the Government Management Information Systems Illinois Conference on the village's transition to Google Documents. Mayor Tully presented at the DuPage Mayors and Managers Conference, where Downers Grove was highlighted in the Innovation Spotlight, and he presented on the village's stormwater utility. The village manager and the chief, Jack, chief of the fire department, Chief Jackson, presented at the DuPage Mayor and Managers Intergovernmental Committee on Fire Response. Police Chief, fire, Police chief Porter presented the opening speech at the Illinois Crisis Negotiations Association Conference on the importance of negotiators. Community Development Director Tom Daberiner presented at the Illinois Chapter of American Planning Association Conference on the Village's Comprehensive Plan. A few more here. Public Works Director, oops, one more, sorry. Commissioner Neustadt, uh, Assistant Village Manager Baker, and Chief Jackson also presented at Northern Illinois University's Alternative service delivery symposium on the topic of shared services and partnerships with other governmental bodies. Public Works Director Nan Newland presented at the American Public Works Association National Conference on the topic of trends, challenges, and opportunities in public works. She also had two articles published in the December 2012 edition of the American Public Works Association Reporter Magazine. One article was on the trends, challenges, and strategies in public works, and the other article was titled Growing Your Team Through Public Speaking, which reflects our recently formed Toastmasters Club. Karen Dalton Lang of Public Works also presented at the Chicago Metro section of American Planners on Community Involvement and Advocacy for Planners. And finally, Kevin Babakevich presented at the American Public Works Association Sustainable Cities Conference on our hybrid street lighting. Now, wow, if that isn't an impressive list. I mentioned earlier that the village was lucky. Luck had nothing to do with these successes. Hard work, dedication, and taking advantage of opportunities led to our successes. The dramatic drop in the economy over the past few years was an opportunity for Downers Grove. This was an opportunity for change, an opportunity for innovation, and a time to look at our operations and our services in an uncommon way. Change is never easy, and it's very, very challenging. Our village employees embrace the challenges that comes with change, and as you can see, through the many awards, recognitions, uh, awards, recognitions, and leadership from within, there is definitely a sense of pride, both personal and professional, for their achievements. And I just think that needs to be acknowledged. So I would hope you enjoy me and giving me a And I truly believe, and I'm sure my colleagues will agree, that our recent successes all stem from our organization's transformation of our culture over the past few years. Village staff has taken ownership and believes in the leadership philosophy of the village that great ideas come from anyone and everyone. Communication makes us better, and we are tough on issues and easy on people. Thank you. Mayor and Council, I just wanted to recognize that many of the people Mary Pratt mentioned are here with us tonight, including Marsha Giesler, who is here, Nick Linklater, Tom Dabreiner, Chief Jim Jackson, Chief Bob Porter, and Director Nan Newland. So if we want to ask them all to please rise and perhaps we could acknowledge them as well for their individual achievements.